Satan's back. Satan's back. Hey everyone and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Christina. This is Cheddar. If you're not new here, my name is still Christina and this is still Cheddar, but we're really glad to have you back. Today's video is going to be Insidious, the Red Door. So I've seen one and two, but what I've been told is this is a direct sequel to the second one. So I'm going to go in the order of one, two, five, three, four. So that's why I'm doing this before reacting to three and four. I know there was a lot of uh, people who did not like this movie. I don't know why. I haven't watched it yet. I'm gonna have to find out and see. But you guys are gonna like hang out with me, right? So like I won't be alone in this, right? Cool. Thank you. Dalton's going to college or something and whatever ensues, I don't know. But uh, yeah, what an intro. My intros are just getting worse and worse. <laughs> but if you guys like this kind of content, I hope you will give this video a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe. Because in case you didn't know, subscribing is cool. So. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications so you get notified for new uploads, and without further ado, let's get into the movie. Let's do this. Cheers. Oh my god, this fucking Blumhouse logo, man. Dude. Can they still have Michael in their logo, even though they don't have like the rights to it anymore, or they're not doing it anymore? Are you ready? Oh, we're starting off from the... Okay. Ready, ready to forget, forget once and for all. Good, Mr. Lambert. Now take a deep breath. Neither of you will remember the last year. There is no place called the further. You will only remember Dalton's coma and his recovery. Nine years later? Oh, yeah. This is ten years after the second one. Okay. Who died? Shut the fuck up. Mm -mm. Are you fucking kidding me? Why? Why? Miss Grandma. I miss her too. He's just anxious about leaving. For school? Why don't you drive him to school? Nah, he, he, he wouldn't want me to. He's not the parent. You are. I mean, if you don't want to, then that's a different I, story. No, but I can't. it was just an idea. Maybe some way that you guys could connect. You know, he's gonna be gone soon, so you know, think about it. That's right. I read that they're divorced. So not only do they kill off the mother, but they divorced. Excuse me. Do I know you? No. I knew your mother. What's your name? Carl. That's right, Carl. Nice to meet you, Carl. Appreciate you coming. I'm sorry I grabbed you. I got a lot on my mind. Death floods the mind with memory, but there's always new ones to make, right? Okay. Okay. He wiped his and Dalton's memories. So you're telling me that the mother and Rose still remember everything that happened? That is so fucked up. She has to know in her head that her husband became a psychopath who tried to kill her and her children. And his mother had to remember him being a psychopath trying to kill her, his wife, and her grandkids? What? Is there someone behind him? Who the fuck is that? Uh... Alright. Okay, so while this intro is happening, first of all, Rose oh, looks mm, so good. Oh, I like that they got the original cast back, except for Barbara Hershey. Is he drawing the... Oh, they look like the nun for a second. You're gonna have to pull out of your little funk or it's gonna be a long few days. Mom said you got that art teacher you wanted. Is she good? She's the best. I think she better be with what we're paying. Don't say that to your kids if, if you're paying for their college and stuff. Like, don't throw that in their face like that. Still need this? I guess mom put it in there. This is intense. So what you've been working on? Put it back. Wow. No, it's really good. Looks like she's, uh... Like she's hiding something? That's what it feels like. 
felt like the last few years. Guess I didn't make the wall, huh? Awkward. You know, I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. Of course, my dad wasn't around at all. I've just been a little foggy the past few years. I don't know, my brain. Are you Dalton Lambert? Yeah, are, are you? Chris Winslow. Everything cool, fellas? I thought my roommate would be a, um... A guy. I just figured it's a liberal arts school and we mean liberal. I'm gonna go down to the housing office and get this all sorted out. No, 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 no. Please, father of Dalton, allow me. I clearly interrupted some boy bonding. I snagged this for you. You really don't know me, do you? You really think I want to join a frat? It's just a party, Dalton. Go, have fun. I mean, do it for me. I drove you here. You didn't even want to. Of course I did. Stop lying to me. I, I heard what mom said at the funeral. Well, I still did it. Oh, so that makes you father of the year now. At least you got a father. Stop blaming your dad for the shit that you screwed up. He left like 40 years ago. Get over it. God knows I'm not going to be defined by you. Are you kidding me? After all we have done for you, why don't you become this ungrateful little shit? No wonder mom divorced you. Thanks for the ride. Ooh, that was uncomfortable. That's how you know it's good acting, though. It feels real. I didn't realize this movie was gonna be so sad. Shit. You can tell it's Shania Twain, right? Totally. You want to blow my hooter? What? Do you play? I'm looking west. Always been looking that way. What's some weird shit about you? On Sundays, I wear a monocle and I order takeout with a British accent. That is weird. Thank you. Sometimes I eat instant oatmeal uh, with no, like, water or milk or anything. Ew. When I was 10, my parents died, and I went to go live with my grandma, Perky, who once went almost nearly blind from a gnarly case of athlete's foot. I don't remember when I was 10. I was in a coma, a viral meningitis. At least that's what they told me a few times that they would talk about it. I don't even remember being sick. It's like I woke up one day and a whole year had passed. Because that's exactly how it happened. Ever since my coma, I have been afraid of th the dark. I was afraid of Barbie dolls till I was like, now. Nothing wrong with being scared. Just as long as you don't keep me up with some bright ass nightlight. Hey, bud, it's me. Just making sure you're getting settled in, okay? I was just uh, thinking about what you said. I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm gonna find out. And I just wanted you to know that. You forgot the I'm sorry for what I said to you. Hello. Hello. I am Professor Armageddon. Open your portfolios, pull out something that will interest me. Stand beside your work. Stand proud. Alec Anderson, your technique is obvious. It looks like a photograph. Thanks. That wasn't a compliment. Tear it up. Excuse me? I worked my ass off on this piece. No one will miss it. No way. Our first casualty. Usually I go through introductions before someone quits. I didn't quit. Yes, you did. You just haven't realized it yet. Any fool can learn technique, even master it. It doesn't mean anything if it doesn't come from inside. I am not interested in the rules of art. We are going to break the rules. Then I want you to break them again. See how broken you can get. Really? You ripped up the picture of your grandma? Dalton Lambert, why in the hell? Would you destroy a beautiful drawing like that once more for good measure? You must let go of your past. Shed your skin in order to grow. I want you to sink further and further into yourself. Don't say the word further. Draw whatever your soul brings forth, an experience that defines you. You've got to be willing to dredge up your ugliest innermost thoughts. What the fuck? Is this real? Is it keeping you in or out? Huh? The machine is quite loud, but you'll be able to hear me. I don't have a memory of being in this, but somehow I feel like I was in this. I 
feel very uncomfortable right now. Like this movie just unlocked something that I tried to forget. There is someone with you. Wh what? The door is open. Okay, okay, let me out, let me out! Uh. Let me out! Lambert. What was that? You okay? What was that? All the lights went out. And I got stuck in there, man. Mr. Lambert, you've been asleep for 15 minutes. <sighs> There's nothing physically wrong with you. No growths or spots on the brain. Nothing to be concerned about. That's good news, Mr. Lambert. I guess I was just hoping for something real. Something that could explain this fog. The memory issues you're talking about, they could be spurred on by a number of things. I mean, have there been any disruptions in your home life? My uh, mom passed away. Not to mention my son left for school and uh, my ex-wife hardly talks to me. Do you have any history of mental illness in your family? Mental illness? Not that I'm aware of. It's worth looking into. Meanwhile, there are exercises, games you can do to stimulate your memory. Matching games, like, like, like kids do. You always play kids' games? We can learn a lot from kids. Oh, yeah, because that's a picture I would want up. <clears throat> uh oh. What you doing? Got my new room assignment today, so alas, no more panty parties. But consolation, I'm in 323 now, right above you. So be cautious, young man, lest I hear you slap your sausage in the dead of night. You want to join a frat? What? No, it's just something my dad got me. We should go. We can make fun of their khaki pants and trust funds. Come on, dolphin, do something nice for your old man. Dolphin? What's the worst that could happen? I see dead people. May I offer you some diaper pudding? Seriously? To memorialize the night that Dalton Lambert actually has fun. This has never been my idea of fun. My name's Nick. Nick the G. Nick the G. Frats, they're under attack. And we must protect our right to party. The frat house is the last house where men can still be men. We got a lot of drinking to do tonight. Pace yourselves. We do not need another incident. Let's go upstairs and look through everyone's shit. Hey, man. You need Ooh. water or something? Make it stop. Make it stop. What? It's closed. It's closed the door! So someone died in the front house? Oh. I think I just stopped. What? We need to go. You should stick around. We might get drunk enough to find you attractive, even though you look like a clown. Nick the dick. I'm more partial to kick the dick. Wow. Dude, you're. F what a disgusting human being. Not her. Nick. I'm sorry for what he said to you. He should be so lucky. Hey, buddy. It is uh, me again. I went to the doctor, and, and everything's okay. Well, not okay, but uh, I'm getting to the bottom of it. I'm really sorry, Dalton, about what I said the other day. God. The little child's lamp from the first two. Go find Elise. Yeah, yeah. 
Is she in this movie? Yeah, you can uh, astral project. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Why is he in her room? Where's my mayonnaise? Where's my mayonnaise? <laughs> Bro, you forgot your lamp. Please don't tell me you're really just a creep. What? No. Then what the hell is going on? Something's happening to me. I'm seeing things. You know that kid at the frat house that they talked about with the incident? I saw him, and he was dead. It started with an art exercise, and she asked us to dig deep into a memory in our, our subconscious. So I did, and I drew this door. Tonight, I was painting, and I fell asleep. And when I woke up, this lantern appeared. It was like a dream, but it wasn't a dream. Then I walked to your room. I know how this sounds. I feel like I'm getting closer to something, or something's getting closer to me. What is that? She was sick? You gonna make it sadder? Is she eating instant oatmeal without anything too? Dalton. 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 To the left. To the left. Dalton. To the left. To the left. Right in front of you. Mom. Who the hell was just standing out there? Okay, Mom, help me out. Mom. <sighs> I don't know. If your memory is that bad... <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Holy shit, that... Thank you. Now I know. This is one of Goya's best. Does it represent darkness or some void? Once revered court painter into a dark spiral, create this grisly portrait of a father devouring his son. This balance between light and dark is what we're after. Your own experiences shape your artwork. Embrace them. Use them. Sink deep into the darkness of memory. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! What? A red door. Uh, purple pegger? Come on, man, doesn't that mean anything to you? I thought it was something from our childhood. Did you ask mom? No, I don't want to worry her. Why would that worry her? I don't know. Who is that? I started poking around the old interwebs. You are an astral projector. Hey guys, this is Spectral Sightings. I'm Specs. This is Tucker. We are PPI, Professional Paranormal Investigators. Astral projection. Our physical body falls asleep, and our astral body leaves that physical body and floats off into another realm. Our former mentor, Dr. Elise Renier, she had a name for this other realm. She called it the Further. I am Elise. I'm here to talk to you about astral projection and the further. It's a dark realm filled with tortured souls of the dead, and some are doomed to live the worst mistakes of their lives over and over and over for all eternity. When you astral project or you travel to this realm, these are the souls that you awaken with your presence. They can smell you. God, she looks the same 10 years later. 
The further you travel, the riskier the journey becomes. They want life, and they can come to our world to get it. Keep a steady stride. That kid from the frat house, he said, close the door. I'm well, sure he did. It probably wasn't his proudest moment. What if he was talking about this door? There's something important about this painting, Chris. I have to find out. Yeah, who is that in the freaking painting? What are the chances those bed sheets are crusty? Probably snapped like a taco shell. Five, four, three, two, one. Are you floating yet? S someone turn on the lights! Dalton! Dalton! Chris. Seriously? Guys, who's messing with me? Close the door! <laughs> Satan's back. Satan's back. That's his dad? You thought your dad left you, but he didn't. He died. I just wanted to see if you're okay. I didn't know anyone could get hurt in the real world. You have no idea what you're messing with. I can't be a part of this, Dalton. You were so gung-ho about it. And neither should you, because next time, you might not wake up. Hey. Hi. Can we talk? Sure. Damn. You get more beautiful as you age. Ugh. Tell me everything you remember about my coma. You should talk to mom. I've had this image in my mind for years. Mom always says it's not real. It's just a bad dream. We're in a room somewhere, like a basement. <laughs> yeah, that was your dad. was to be better than my father. You were. You are. My dad abandoned his family, and I've done the same thing. No, you haven't. You're not him, Josh, and you're allowed to be angry at him. I've been angry for a long time, angry at a man that I have never met, angry at a man that jumped off the roof of a mental hospital in 1978. For more than 40 years, that man has been dead and gone. My dad, Ben Burton. Oh, no. That was Parker Crane. I was like, wait, what? So how in the hell is he terrorizing me in the real world? He attacked me at mom's He attacks you? Yeah. He uh, left this for my mom the day he died. What ends with him? Awkward. Is his madness inside of me? I mean, is that why I've been so lost the past few years? I mean, did I pass this curse onto our kids? I mean, is he going to haunt them Josh, like he Josh, haunted me? I mean, Josh, why didn't my mother say stop, anything about stop. this? Oh, shit. Here we go again. So Dalton and I could travel to some other dimension where we were haunted by ghosts and goblins. More like entities, like the one in those photos that haunted you. And your father, he saw them too, and maybe he's just reaching out. Back then he told your mom, she didn't understand, she, she didn't know how to help him. Oh, I help him like you helped us? By suppressing our memories? We all thought it was for the best, Josh, you included, but you, got foggy and your mom and I we didn't know what to do and I was too scared to tell you the truth Dalton was right he said my mom had secrets that she was hiding something from us I just never thought you did too for 10 years you have no idea for how 10 hard years, it has you have for kept me. this Honestly, away from me why know. just Please, why why you why because you tried to kill our family you chased us around the house with a goddamn baseball bat what? I mean, I knew that it wasn't you. I knew it was that thing in those photos, but the kids, they don't understand. All those night terrors that Foster had. I've been lying to our children for a decade, telling them those memories aren't real. They're just your imagination. Dad's not gonna hurt you. 
I couldn't. But you did. It doesn't matter to them what was controlling you. They saw it was your face. It was you who was causing all that pain. That's why I pulled away. I couldn't live like that anymore. I don't blame you, honey. We could have gotten through this together. Is this you? Dalton just sent this to me. He's been having nightmares and visions. Something about a red door. What do we do? <laughs> oh, man. That is terrifying. <clears throat> Don't you dare play that song. And now, my dear friends, I'd like to dedicate this song to all of you out there. Wherever you may be, this song is for you. Okay. I'm really enjoying this movie. Oh god. Just checking on you. You're sitting on the floor, being weird. That's normal. I thought that when the power went out, then maybe you were messing with that dark realm shit again. And I know that you don't really care for the dark, so I figured I would illuminate your room much like how I illuminate your life. I'm not afraid of the dark anymore. Okay. Well, I hauled these all the way down here, so they're going up anyway. I got your text, and I wrote a snarky response, and then I deleted it because Grandma Perky always told me to never escalate an argument over text. Bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? But, I mean, if you want my opinion, don't go digging around in your past. Some things are just better left buried, you know? Dalton? Hey. Dude, turn the fucking light on. Dalton, you okay? Oh, good timing, Cheddar. Comfort me. So he's stuck in the further? How'd you learn to get in the further? Come here. I need you. I need your lovies. Oh, I'm sorry. Dalton. Don't leave mommy. Stay with mommy, okay? Please? We're gonna get out of here and we're gonna get home, okay? We're never gonna pick. I know you're in there, but if you touch me again, I'm gonna fuck you up. Daniel! You tried to kill me. It wasn't me. I saw you. These things, they can possess our bodies. It happened to me, and now he's done it to you. It's coming back for you. We 
We've got to go. To get rid of that thing. Burn it. Forget about it. No, no. Forgetting it doesn't work. We need to remember. Even the things that hurt. Dad? See you next Friday. Tell Foster to pack his history homework. I'll help him with it. We come a little earlier if you want. Join us for dinner. Lovely home. Oh, thanks. Do you live here? Uh, I hope so. It's a weird answer. <laughs> Guess I'm just lost in memories. They can flood the mind. I know you. you. May have seen me around. I know your mother. There's so much I want to tell her. I know. And you can. And you will. Someday. You have a bright future ahead. You and Dalton. Keep a steady stride, Josh. Wow. I made the wall. I love you, son. I love you, too. If this world is wearing thin, I'll go in. Fuck, man. If you try to go alone, day with me in the darkness of your dreams. Pride is on the floor. I'll make you beg for more. Oh. Okay, movie over. Um. Wow. Um, I don't even know like what to say or where to start. It wasn't what I, you know, had expected it to be. Well, I don't really know what I expected it to be. I thought it was it was a good movie. I did. I thought it was a very good movie. The second movie really brought everything full circle and then this brought the like unanswered not unanswered, but some other things full circle, you know, about his dad. I wasn't expecting to to cry. Uh, I wasn't expecting this movie to be so freaking emotional, but it was, so I hated that they killed the mom. 
his mom off, but it made sense for the story. Some of it was was pretty pretty freaky. I feel like there was a moment I don't remember what part it was where I was literally like, I had to remember I wasn't breathing, because. Ugh. I don't even like know if I had much reaction for this movie because I was so immersed in it. I had a nice open ended of you know there's a chance for him and her to get back together and then that scene with Elise at the end was just so just I thought it was great I really did I thought this was a great 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 movie a great ending for this family I would guess that a lot of people didn't like it because it was more story oriented than um, you know scares but overall movie wise it was very very good the acting was very good the sound was very good the sound effects were very good the story was very good little easter eggs and throwbacks were really good it had its 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 scary moments it had its funny moments it had its really sad moments and it all came to, together really really well and i think patrick wilson did a great job directing for his first movie I, I, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so at a loss for words because I just was not expecting that ending. I was not expecting for this to be so emotional. I'm I'm really glad that they made it, and I think it was it was perfect ending, perfect ending. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm so at a loss for words. I'm just like in my emotions right now, and so I don't really have um. A lot to say. I um, am just like feeling. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I enjoyed myself. I really do appreciate you taking the time out of your day. It really does mean a lot. If you guys like the video, please do give it a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If anyone's interested, I do have a Patreon. I do have a P.O. box if you want to send me your chat or something. Um, if not, totally cool. You can support the channel just by liking, commenting, and or subscribing. Thank you guys so much again for taking the time out of your day. I love you. I appreciate you. And um, until next time, I will see you guys in the next one.